Okay, so here we have a classic case of absolutely filthy tapes that have been in outdoor conditions. And if these are your tapes, you know, they are what they are. Um, but if you've taken care of your tapes and uh, <laughs> the person before you uh, has had their tapes transferred and just all these tiny little things. I mean, look at the dust on that. I mean, this is me just cleaning off right now. And I do this with all the tapes because all the equipment, you know, is precious. All of the interior parts of it are precious as well because they're hard to find um, and expensive to fix. I mean, look at this. So if your stuff is completely clean, the person before you, if their stuff isn't, and you're kind of picking up all their dirty, uh, I mean, look, these have been outdoors. And this is why, uh, if they're not in the cases, they can pick up all of this dust and dirt, and I have to undo all of this stuff. So I do clean the tapes physically just to protect my equipment, let alone making sure it's not all I mean, look, there's dust and all sorts on here. So this is something I do, and look at that. I mean, I'm gonna take a rag here, and you can see clean. I'm gonna give it one wipe, and look, it's just ugh. So I don't want particles in my equipment because Tim at Video uh, Arizona Video Electronics, uh, yeah, he's, he does great work, and he's not cheap, and understandably why. Um, now, this is just the exterior. I'm not even talking about the interior of these tapes. Um, so I will give them a blast of uh, air as well, um, especially with these ones that are not in the cases because all these tiny little pieces here, again, do come off uh, in the inside of the equipment and you know just tiny little pieces of stuff can score the heads and the, the very delicate uh let's have a look here i'm gonna get some air oh we're all out over here here we go so good old air that we have going on here that's, there we go So this is what I do to the tanks and making sure everything is clear and clean. Not only your tapes, but everyone's tapes. So I'm undoing years and years of, oh my God, stuff that just flew out. Um, so, and I can guarantee you that most companies do not do this. And that is why they have quality issues. And then they blame your tapes. Look at this one right here. This one here won't even open. Um, I can already see uh, this has got some heat damage on it. Um, but look at this. The thing doesn't automatically snap back. So that has to be fixed. This is all the lovely stuff that I have to prep before these tapes are transferred. So anyway, without further ado and boring you too much, that is a little back story on physically cleaning the tapes.